welcome students so today's topic is from week number 4 problem number 3 draw the projection of the line so here the specified a line rs measuring 52 mm is in hp so it's kept in the hp and inclined at an angle 45 degree to vp to vp the end r is 10 mm in front of vp draw the projection so what we have seen in second problem the mirror image is a third problem it's nothing that so so let us see this is vp this is hp so they are seeing uh, one line so let us assume this is a 52 mm line is in hp i am just keeping in the hp it is inclined at an angle 45 degree to vp so either you can rotate this side or this side it is up to you okay so as per the book i am making uh, and to vp this is also a vp only okay in this direction also vp only this is also a vp okay and the end r is 10 mm in front of vp so 10 mm one let us consider this is this is r 10 mm in front of vp and draw the projection so it is angle with 45 degree so when you are seeing when you are seeing from here this angular line will be on reference line when you are seeing from top we can able to see this angular line as such in the hp so when you are tilting it when you are tilting the hp you will see only this line and one of another projection in the reference line so let us draw the reference line first usually the reference line is supposed to name x and y let me draw here so then that will be reasonable just specifying x and y this is vp and hp okay vp and hp so what they have shown the position r it is 10 mm in front of vp so it will be here so that is r you are rotating it it is in the horizontal plane this is in the vertical plane so r r dash so another with respect to its axis it is turned with respect to vert vp it is turned 45 degree so this turn to 45 degree let us mark here let me mark here 45 degree so what is 45 degree so the length is nothing but 52 mm we have to measure 52 mm and we mark here so we have identified that is yes this point is yes so yes it is in the horizontal plane just making a broader so when you are dropping the same parallel line you would able to identify this is yes dash okay so this also you can make it border this is angle between these two is 45 degree the length of rs is we have to write along the 
we properly write the dimensions so this, uh, finally the r s line is supposed to be this and this so here when you are seeing here we can able to see the both edges supposed to be parallel why in the sense you are seeing this pencil from vertical from horizontal okay both direction if i am keeping like this you can able to see here there is a pencil you are looking horizontal you are looking from vertical but this pencil length will not change similarly point r and s will not change so both side it will be parallel both side it will be parallel it's very important key for the problem most of the problem make you makes you confuse confusion uh, these two will be parallel if you are make it in your mind so there will not be any confusion mistakes occurs okay that's it thanks